Hello guys, I am Paul McWhorter here with lesson number 15 in our series of lessons on using the Arduino with Python. Uh, up until this point we have sort of put together a project that brings Python and Arduino together and to sort of summarize where we are we have a a pressure sensor and a temperature sensor hooked up to the Arduino sending data over the serial port and then on the PC side we have a Python program and that Python program is reading in the data from the Arduino live and then creating a live graph uh, using matplotlib in Python. If you want to sort of catch up with where we are you can go back and watch those first 14 lessons. Uh, you can see that you end up with something pretty cool here that as I put my most warm finger on the sensor you can see that we are in fact graphing live data using Python combined with uh, with the Arduino. Okay, at this point, if you look at the project, uh, the thing to understand is, is that what we're going to show in this project is in this video lesson is how to get rid of the serial cable. Okay, we're going to get rid of the serial cable by replacing it with two XP radios. If you watched lesson 14, which was the previous lesson in this playlist, the playlist is on my YouTube channel. It's the Arduino with Python playlist. Lesson number 14 sort of outlined the hardware that you need to talk over radios instead of the serial port. The good news is, is that you don't have to just do this for this project. Any project where you're talking between Arduinos over serial or between the Arduino and the PC, any application over the serial port, you really don't have to change the software. You just put the radios in, and if the radios are configured properly, they will talk to each other, and it's pretty much transparent to the software. <coughs> We're going to go over it, though, with you step by step in this project, but you can sort of see that anything that you've learned in any of our lessons as far as talking over the serial cable, the serial port through the serial cable, you can apply what you learned to now getting rid of that cable and using the XP's, XP radios. In lesson 14, I talked about all the hardware that you would need. I'm going to assume at this point that you've ordered your hardware, your gear is in place, and you are ready to get this thing working. So at this point, what I'm going to do is try to gracefully kill this Python program. Okay, yes, I want to kill it. It went away nicely, so I think we're going to, <coughs> we're going to be okay there. And what we want to do is we want to jump right in, and the first thing that you need to do is you need to program your XP radios. To configure or program your XP radios, I find the best way to do it is with free software from Digi called uh, XCTU Software. You can get there by going to my toptechboy.com, go to my series of lessons on Arduino and Python, and I will give you a clickable link there that will take you to the download, or if you want to live dangerously. You can Google search on download XCTU software. For me it's the second link, the XCTU-Digi International. Click on that and this is the download page. I didn't want you to just sit and have to watch me 10 minutes download it so I already downloaded it but you will need to click here and if you're using Google Chrome which I hope you are you will get a little icon down here in the bottom left corner showing you the progress of the download when the download is complete that little icon is an installer and what I want you to do is click on that installer once you get to that point and the in installer will pop up and ask you, do you want to install? Yes, that's why I've done it. I wouldn't have clicked on it if I didn't want to install it. Then we go next. Be sure and read and understand your license agreement with uh, Digi on this. I've read it, and yes, I agree. <clears throat> we go next. That's a fine place to put it. We go next, and then we say install. And it will take just a second to install it, and then we will be ready to make this run. Okay, <clears throat> I believe we have about got it. Looks good. We'll launch XCTU, but I don't want to see release notes, so I'll say launch. <clears throat> And the software has, I am going to close this change log because I really don't care and I will get this where you can see it nice in the screen.
All right, this is the XCTU software, but we've got to basically connect to the radio now. And we connect to the radio from the PC over a USB cable. So the other end of this USB cable is on the computer that I'm running here. And then we're going to talk to it through the SparkFun XB Explorer with USB connector. And I explained in my earlier video on the hardware, if you order one of these explorers, make sure you get the version that allows you to hook to it with the USB cord. So I've got my USB cord. First thing I'm going to do is plug the radio in to it. And what you want to notice is, is that this is kind of coded. Let's get a focus here. Uh, there you see up at the top, it kind of shows you the kind of pyramid shape. You want to plug it in right, wrong, right, with the pyramid shape. And most XB products have that little thing that kind of shows you the way to plug them in. These XB radios are pretty easy to mess up, and so you want to be careful with them. And uh, if you teach high school like I do, this is one of those components you want to sort of look over the student's shoulder and help them with it because it's pretty easy to mess up. One way you can mess it up is by plugging it in upside down. You can see that we are correct there in the way that we have plugged it in along with the, uh, with the key that it gives us there. Okay, And then also make sure that you're not off by one on your pins. Make sure that you're lined up pin for pin with the, uh, with the socket. Let's get this focused here and show you that. I wish this camera focused better. Okay, so you see we're all plugged in nice and snug and in the right way. Now, in order to talk to it, we've got to plug it into the USB cable. When we plug it in, we hope that we hear that happy ding-dong noise indicating that the computer has found it. Yes, indeed. I believe it has found it. Now, with a little luck, this XCTU software should be able to find this radio and explorer on the end of the USB cable. And to do that, we come up here to this little icon that looks like the XB radio with the magnifying glass, and we click on it. And you can see that uh, the CTU, XCTU has found two things on the COM port. It found the Arduino down here. Well, we're not trying to talk to that. We're trying to talk to this, which is for me, COM16, which is called the USB serial port. So I'm going to select that and then click Next. <clears throat> you want to talk to this at 9600. That's where they come programmed from the factory. One stop bit, eight data bits, no flow control, and no parity. Okay. Now, when you do this, if you run into an error and you can't find the radio or you can't talk to it, chances are someone has messed with your radio and maybe changed the baud rate. So you can come back in here and try the different baud rates. All right. I leave my radio set at 9600 because it can be a little bit of a mess if you end up with a radio and don't know what baud rate it's set on. And so I just leave all my radios at 9600 for that very reason. Let's say finish. Now we're hoping that it finds it. Hoping that it finds it. Yes, it found it. It's on COM16. <coughs> we'll say add that thing and then it pops up over here. So now XCTU is talking with our nice little uh, radio and USB Explorer. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on it on it right here and when we click on this radio it'll go out and it'll read all the data from it and show us how it's configured now. So it is going out and it is reading the data. Hopefully we will have a successful read. Okay everybody is happy. Now there's a lot of different settings here don't mess with the settings. This is not something to go around and play around with unless you really know what you're doing. Just do what I'm showing you. It's sort of like get in and get out. It's kind of like a commando raid here. We want to get in, we want to get out without miss messing anything up. There's three things you really have to check and there's five things you want to kind of be in the right area on. So let's go to the first three that are the most important. The first is the PAN ID. <coughs> the PAN ID is the network ID that these radios are going to talk on. This is the radio that is hooked up to the USB and this is the other radio that is going to be hooked up to the Arduino. These need to be on the same PAN ID so that they can talk to each other. I do not like to leave the factory PAN ID because if there's some goofball in the front of the room that's doing something on that same network ID and the, the, the radios are programmed the same, that'll cause problems. And 
A lot of times what students will do is they will go in and they will look at a tutorial and then it'll go boom, 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 boom through the tutorial and they'll use the same pan ID and the same addresses and then you end up with radios trying to talk over the same IDs and the same channels. So I'm going to set it to a unique ID. I'm going to have our network be 3001 just because I can. And so both of the radios, when I program both of them, they both need to be on 3001. Okay. Now on the destination, the destination is who you're talking to, the other radio. <coughs> the destination on the high address, we can leave that set to zero. And the unique address that we want to talk to, we set here. Okay. Well, and then my address is what my radio is going to be. So this radio that I'm programming now, this is the first one, so let's say that it is 1. Okay, What radio is it going to talk to? needs to be a different address. Let's say to talk to radio number 2. So this, this guy is 1. He's going to talk to 2. So when we get over to this radio, we got to remember that he's going to be 2, and he's going to talk to 1. And so for this one, we're saying, Hey, I'm two. I want to talk to one. On this one, we'll have him say, I'm, no, I said it wrong. This guy is one, and he wants to talk to two. This guy is two, and he's going to want to talk to one. And so these two need to be reversed on the next one. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is to come down to the power level. I'm concerned about range, so I'm going to set it on the highest power level. If you're concerned about battery life, you could set it on the lowest. But I'm going to set it on the highest. And the other thing we need to set is the baud rate. You have lots of choices on baud rate. I leave my radios on 9600. Now you've got to be careful when you're in here and make sure that you don't try to scroll through the menus using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Because you see I'm trying to scroll but what I'm doing is I'm changing these values. So what you want to do is you don't want to use the scroll mouse when you're uh, the scroll wheel while you're in this program. You want to scroll over here. So my network ID is 3001. My address is radio 1. I want to talk to radio 2. My power level is 4. And my baud rate is 9600. Now I want to write those so I have to come up to the pencil icon and click. And now it's taking all this data and it's downloading it that configuration into this radio. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to say disconnect from the radio, get rid of it, and now I'm going to unplug. All right, we need to do the same thing, just keeping in mind those different IDs on the other radio. <coughs> so this is going to be radio two. I like to plug them in and unplug them while they aren't powered, and so I'm trying to be careful about that. Got it in the right direction, got it pin for pin correct, and let me, uh, let me give you one other warning about these radios. You see that little antenna? That little antenna needs to stay horizontal because students a lot of times want to come in and like stand it up straight. You can move that antenna up and down about four times before it falls off. And once it falls off, you can try to solder it back on, but it's very hard to get back on. If you're doing it, just leave it like that. Don't let anything bump into the antenna. Don't jiggle the antenna. Be very careful with the antenna and don't be bending it around to different locations. I've ruined several radios by getting that little antenna messed up. If you're working with students, make sure that they're very careful to not mess up that antenna. Okay, let's go on and do the same thing with this radio. We come up and we click on it. We see it here. It's the USB serial port. It's not the Arduino. It's the one on the USB serial port. We say next. <clears throat> 9600, one stop bit, eight data bits, no flow control, and no parity, and say finish. Hopefully it's going to find it here. Okay, it found it very good, and I say add selected device. Here it is over here now, so that's good. Let's click on it, and it'll go in, and it'll read the data from it. <coughs> data is read. Okay, our network ID was what? I wrote it down, 3001. Okay. The destination address high is still zero. The destination address low, this guy wants to talk to 
what? It wants to talk to radio 1, which is the one we programmed a minute ago. And this guy is going to be radio 2. So I'm now saying this is radio 2. He's going to talk to radio 1. This is radio 1. He's going to talk to radio 2. We're going to go down real quick and we are going to check our power level is high. Our baud rate is 9600 and we are good to go so we're going to write that. Guys, on projects like this you've got to make sure that the baud rate is the same everywhere. So when you you've got to do a serial begin in your Arduino program serial begin 9600. Arduino side radio 9600. PC side radio 9600. When you go into Python or a serial monitor or whatever you're using there 9600. You got to keep that all the way across. Okay, I believe that we have these radios programmed now, and so I can click off that and I can kill this program, and we should be good to go. Okay, <clears throat> this is the tricky part now. We've got this radio. I'm just going to leave it hooked up because it's already hooked up to the serial port, uh, the USB port on the. Uh, on the PC. So now we need to hook a radio up to <coughs> the Arduino and we do that with an Arduino shield. Okay. Couple of things about the Arduino shield. One is you've got to make sure that you use an Arduino that has these uh, these header pins right here. Let's see if we can get a focus. Okay, not wanting to focus very well today. Let's see if we can get it. Anyway, right there it is. You can see these six pins here. They have to have the pins. And as much as I love the SparkFun Redboard, the SparkFun Redboard does not have those pins. Okay, so you cannot use the SparkFun Redboard. You need to use something that has the uh, that has these pins on it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug, first of all, plug the board in. But one other thing that I need to show you about this board, okay, about the shield. This shield, let's try to get our focus again. Give it just a second. Okay. This shield has two jumpers right here, these two blue jumpers. If you want this shield to talk over the USB, those two jumpers need to be put on the outside two pins, the middle pin and the outside pin. Then you'll talk over the USB cable. If you put them on the inside pins, the inside pin and the middle pin, it will be talking over the XB radios. So I want to talk over the XB. I have it jumper set on the inside and the middle. Okay. If I want to talk over the USB, I'll just show you. I pull off the bottom one, move it, pull off the bottom one, and move it. Always the middle pin is connected, but it's whether you can middle and outside, which I have now for USB, or middle and inside for XB. So I want to talk over the XB, so I'll put it back to middle and inside. <clears throat> we are configured there to talk over XB radio. All right, now I need to get the XB radio. And just like on the USB Explorer, let's wait for our focus. Okay, you've got sort of a key there that shows you the direction that you plug it in. So always make sure that you plug it in the right direction. Okay, we have got it plugged in. And now we are ready to connect it over here. What I'm going to do is I am going to unplug the Arduino. I've just got two wires coming to the Arduino, so I'm going to unplug those and then put the shield on. There's kind of not too much way to mess this up, but get that on there good. And then the analog pins are fed through to the top of the shield, so I can reconnect just by connecting back on the top of the shield as such. All right. Now we've gotten rid of the USB cord, but we still need to power this. I'm going to power it with this little USB power bank, which has a USB output. Okay, so I will plug into the USB output like that, and then I will plug the other end into 
the Arduino. We don't hear a ding dong because we are not hooked to the computer. We are just hooked to the battery. All right, at this point, you can see that the light is blinking on the shield indicating that the uh, that the radio is getting power and so that is good the radio is getting power and things should be working properly here alright if I want to just uh, let's see I can go in and just see if I'm getting this data over this radio and so Arduino is sending data through the shield through the XB radio and then this XB radio should be picking it up and sending it to a serial port. I can kind of cheat a little bit if I just call up my Arduino IDE and look and it sees a port it it sees a port at port 16 okay and then let's see if I just open the serial monitor you can see I'm getting the data and that data is coming wirelessly into this radio is coming wirelessly into this radio from this radio. So we're talking over the air now. <clears throat> the final thing that we need to do at this point is close this because you cannot have two things looking at the same serial port at the same time. So that's just a little thing to show you how you can kind of sniff, a, sniff on a serial port if you want using that serial monitor with your Arduino IDE. But now what we need to do is we need to actually go in and see if we can get that working on the uh, get that working on the Python and if you remember what you've got to do in Python is you've got to be at the right baud rate so in Python I go to my uh, line that creates the data object so I've got like Arduino data is equal to serial dot serial and it says com 17 comma uh, 9600 well I believe and let me check and just make sure I believe that it is seeing that on COM16 okay and so I'm going to come in and change this to COM16 so now Python should be looking at COM16 which is where this cable XB Explorer and XB are and if this works right I should be able to talk all the way through <coughs> all the way through uh, uh, to get the data from the uh, Arduino down here wirelessly into Python. So we're going to hold our breath and run this thing at this point. Okay, we have it coming up and I believe we are good. So let's look at this. Okay, we are streaming data wirelessly. Now what I want to show you is this one is hooked up to the PC and it's the one that uh, Python is getting data from. But look at this. The Arduino itself on the battery, and I'm trying to get my cables untangled here, is free to move around the room. So let's come over here. Okay, let me come over here. I could go outside, but it's raining, plus, you would want to sit there while I'm going outside. Okay, and let me put my finger on this again. And what you can see is, you will see in just a second when the data comes through, well, my finger's a little cold, so it didn't uh, go up. But what you can see here is, you can see that the data is successfully streaming, uh, is successfully streaming live over the radio, and uh, everything is working good. So let me just summarize this project. The important thing about this project is to realize that everything that you've done in the past as far as how to send and receive data over the serial port, none of that changes. Whether you're using Arduino, whether you're using Python, whether you are uh, using the serial monitor or something more sophisticated, all the software stays the same. Same. You just got to make sure that you have your baud rate set. You got to make sure that you have your COM port set, and you can just take that cable out and get these radios to work. And so this thing is working. And uh, hope you guys will stick with me. If you like, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Think about maybe subscribing to my channel. And uh, I will be back shortly with more videos. Paul McQuarter with TopTechBoy.com. We will talk to you guys later.